it's time for you to be selfish if you want to get to your 2024 goals it's time for you to be selfish it's time for you to isolate yourself because clearly being everywhere isn't working for you now is it hey guys welcome to another video if you're new here hello my name is venery Velo, and this is the get better podcast and i really do hope you enjoyed this video enough to join the family so we're coming to the end of 2024 and i know that so many people have not achieved their goals for the year and some people are already panicking some people have gone into depression so many emotions left right center because you promised that 2024 was going to be the year that you did something different and something better and here you are in august not doing anything better or different from last year or you have wasted the better part of the year or let me not say better part of the year you've wasted the earlier parts of the year doing other things and thinking that you can still you know juggle a lot of things together you know um have fun and still achieve your goals as much as you want i'm not saying you shouldn't have fun but yeah you have to look for a way to balance everything up and i know that you thought you could do all of that you know party every now and then and still have the strength the motivation to be consistent enough and to be able to do the things that you need to do to make 2024 a great year but then it's not working is it so then it's time to change strategy and i'm here for you it's time to have a media reset it's time to sit down and reflect on the things that you did wrong the first half of this year that did not make most of your dreams and your goals come true it's time to have a media reset it's time for you to sit down and reflect on the things that you did wrong at the earlier part of this year that didn't make your dreams and your goals come true you have to sit down evaluate write them down no matter how stupid you think those things are write them down and be true to yourself don't be sugarcoating things with your own self the worst thing you can do to yourself is lie to yourself okay so sit down and be true to yourself what did you do wrong what did you think was going to work that didn't work what are the things what are the reasons that you've not been able to get to where you are is it lack of consistency or is it because you thought you're very special and things are not going to work for you <laughs> sorry if you don't get the joke you watch my previous video you get the joke for me it was being ashamed being scared trying to make everything perfect you know i wanted everything to be perfect we're going to actually talk about perfection and it's killing your goals and your dreams in the next video i think i'm not sure which video but that's why you have to subscribe so that you can get the video whenever i post it right this is a podcast that's going to help you get better so you do actually want to stay subscribed to this channel like i was saying for me it was trying to be perfect being a little bit ashamed and thinking too much about what people are going to say if you don't know um i just lost my dad i think over a year ago a few months over a year ago and i am going through different phases of my life right now a lot of things have changed and as much as i feel like oh this is the era of me doing exactly what i want to do and living life exactly the way i want to live it you know there are still some obstacles it's not something i am used to i'm still getting myself together in terms of going for what exactly i want right i'm still trying to get to that point where i am not caring so much about what people are going to say oh she's doing this now because oh her dad is no longer here to caution her or something if you're a pastor's daughter you would understand i really don't want to go deep into that topic because this is not what this video is about but yeah these are the things that have stopped me from getting to the place that i want to get to and now i have come to the realization of those things and i have sat down to think of ways that i can you know go around those obstacles those things that are stopping me from actually getting to my goals for this year and reaching my full potential in the long run because i have to start from now to be able to get to the goals i have in five years and ten years and all that so yeah you have to be true to yourself you have to write those things down you have to think about them squarely and evaluate them or reevaluate them be critical about them and be true to yourself what are the things that stopped me was it parting too much did i think that oh i could do 60 percent of playing around and enjoying and 40 percent of just working and then 
my goals will come true because sometimes we actually do not know how much work we need to put in to make certain goals come true i just started a new business and i honestly did not know how much work i would have to put in to be able to get my first sale i actually did not know how many videos i'll have to post in a day to be able to get the engagement i thought i was going to get or the engagement i actually wanted to get right so sometimes we actually do not know how much work we need to put in to get to a certain place so we already downplay the work the amount of work we have to put in or how consistent we have to be so it may not be your fault that's why you always have to have mid-year re-evaluation of your goals and your dreams it's very very important because that would help you to see that oh I thought this method was going to work but it's not working what else should i do those are the things that you have to put in place right what did i do wrong what should i do better if you're somebody that maybe all through the year you've been you know anywhere they invite you you've been people pleasing and all that it's time for you to be selfish if you want to get to your 2024 goals it's time for you to be selfish it's time for you to isolate yourself because clearly being everywhere isn't working for you now is it know that it's time to come bring yourself together okay and be be different from how you were all through the year if not it's not going to work for you I'm sorry if you keep following the same road and thinking it's going to lead you somewhere else that's foolishness it's not going to lead you somewhere else so reevaluate everything that you've done before concerning your goals and getting to the place you wanted to get to and now start thinking of a different ways to do them to get to that point like when i began this year i actually really did think that um, just posting once in a week is gonna work for my youtube channel and now i just realized it's not gonna work baby girl if you really want to hit that goal of getting to 1000 subscribers this year looks like you have to post twice in a week honey and now i have to start posting at least twice in a week for that to happen so we have to sit down and reevaluate like i said for the rest of the year i'm going to be making videos on you know how to get better get to your goals and all that this entire podcast is based on the journey of me trying to better myself and bringing you along so whenever i discover that oh my god this is working for me oh my god we shouldn't do this i'm just gonna bring it here so that everybody can know and see the light <laughs> okay so basically we're going to be getting better together or we're going to be growing together and that's the aim of the podcast and by the grace of god we are going to get to our dreams and our goals and we're gonna look back and be like hmm i'm glad i took this journey with this girl it's giving star girl syndrome right now <laughs> but whatever at the end of the day we're all going to be happy that we did things a little bit different from the way we've been doing it and I really do hope that you get to achieve your goals and your dreams in 2024. If you've stayed to this point, you definitely enjoyed this video. So what are you waiting for? Just subscribe, like this video, comment, share, and all of the things that you have to do. Honestly, I don't know why you guys do not like my videos. Like, just like the video. Don't forget. I need to start putting those tiny tiny like my video like my video in between the videos maybe you guys will remember and even if you don't even like the video just thumbs down let me just know that you have an opinion or something about the video just do something a reaction let me know that you guys are there and you guys are watching yeah so thank you for staying to the end of this video I hope to see you next time before you go don't forget you are enough and god has given you everything you need to succeed all you have to do is push see you guys in my next video bye